Stop wasting time doing the research yourself. I've got you covered with this list. What's up, I'm Lindsay Vance, Realtor with the Living in South Carolina team at Real Broker. Today, I'm helping you tour around town with the top 15 things to do to get an idea of what the Aiken lifestyle has to offer. We love being your local resource so much that we turned this list into a flyer. Let us know and we'll send you a copy so you have it when you're here visiting. I do wanna mention that some of these activities cost money, but most of them are free, which is what makes this list even better. If you have any questions or you're ever considering a move to or from South Carolina, that's what we're here for. And hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other videos about living in South Carolina. Now let's get started. One of the best ways to learn about Aiken, whether you're visiting or you're a longtime resident, is to go on the Aiken trolley tour. This is such a fun experience. On the tour, you'll see and hear about historic homes and churches, equestrian sites, the Civil Wars Battle of Aiken, the Live Oak Canopy on South Boundary Avenue, a guided walk through Hopeland's Gardens, and so much more. The trolley tour leaves every Saturday morning from the Aiken Visitor Center and Train Museum. It leaves around 10 o'clock, but you have to get here early, and I definitely recommend making reservations ahead of time. If you're not here on a Saturday, you can set up a private custom tour with tailored tours of Aiken. That's really fun. This next spot is on the historic register, the Aiken Railroad Depot. It's now the Aiken Visitor Center and Train Museum. It's also a central location for so many activities. You meet here to go on the historic trolley tour. You can check out tons of Aiken info, even get some souvenirs, and check out the train museum upstairs. So history was not my favorite subject in school, but when I moved to Aiken, it was hard not to love all the fascinating history about this small town. We have some of the best museums to learn all about it, like the Aiken County Historical Museum, the Aiken Thoroughbred Racing Hall of Fame, Center for African American History, Arts and Culture, and the Savannah River Site Museum, just to name a few. This is probably one of our most well-known landmarks, Hitchcock Woods. It's the largest privately owned urban forest in the United States. If you look at a map of downtown Aiken, it's a big green space, basically right in the middle. There are 2,100 acres and 70 miles of trails to explore. It's free and open to the public sun up to sundown, but there are no bicycles and no motor vehicles allowed. And a pro tip, there are seven entrances around the perimeter of the woods. Make sure you pick up a map from one of the boxes so you don't get lost. If you really love the outdoors, this is definitely a spot to check out. Hopeland's Gardens is right in downtown and it's a 14 acre estate that was part of the original winter colony of the early 1900s. It was donated to the city as a public gardens in 1969. It's open to the public and free to explore, and it's absolutely beautiful. There are other places to check out there as well, like the Dollhouse, the Rye Patch, the Carriage Museum, and the Aiken Thoroughbred Racing Hall of Fame. You're going to notice a bunch of painted horse statues scattered around town. This is the result of a really successful fundraiser from a few years back. It was called the Art Play Fund, which provided art scholarships to children and the elderly. This became such a fun, popular attraction that the city created a scavenger hunt. To learn more about the scavenger hunt and even download a map, visit horsearoundaiken.com or you can go to the Aiken Center for the Arts to pick up a physical map. Also, while you're looking for the horses, make sure you look out for some of the other murals painted around town. The art scene in Aiken is really cool. If you've seen any photos of Aiken, I can almost guarantee you've seen Aiken's Avenue of Oaks, also known as South Boundary Avenue. This piece of history is one of my favorites and how this street became what it is today. These trees were planted in the 1890s and early 1900s, which makes them more than 100 years old. So now, a century later, this seed money has flourished into one of Aiken's greatest treasures. This is one of my favorite spots, the Alley Downtown Tap Room. They have 48 taps with craft beer from around the state and neighboring regions. They also have some great ciders, wine, kombucha, soda, coffee, and more. 
They host live music, open mic nights, silent discos, and other really fun activities. And the best part about the tap room is they're pet friendly. If you're looking for a bite to eat, you really can't go wrong with any of our downtown restaurants and cafes. They're all locally owned small businesses, and some of them even change their menu often, which makes it really fun every time you go visit. And if you're here between March and October, you might catch Amp the Alley, which is live music every Thursday night right here in the central area of downtown. Are there any creatives or art lovers out there? If so, you'll definitely want to stop by the Aiken Center for the Arts. They have several galleries and exhibits that change monthly featuring local artists. Their programs are for both children and adults. It's located right in the heart of downtown shopping, so you can't miss the beautiful art in the windows. This one's for my horse lovers. Whether you're an avid rider or you haven't been in years and you want a fun experience, instead of exploring Hitchcock Woods by foot, how about on horseback? You can contact Rebel Ranch Horse Tours for a guided trail ride in Hitchcock Woods. How fun would that be? Although Aiken was established many years after the first city in South Carolina, which was Charleston, we have the oldest farmer's market in the state. Aiken County Farmer's Market is actually on the historic register. It's open on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, but you have to get there early to get the good stuff. There are some great conversations, recipes, and goods traded here. You'll wanna check it out. This next spot is known as Aiken's Living Room. It's also ranked as one of the top hotels the Wilcox really gives you a unique experience. It's not just a hotel, it's also a restaurant and spa, so you'll have to check it out. And it's pet friendly too. If you want to enjoy the outdoors, you need to visit Aiken State Park. It's located just east of downtown Aiken, across the line into Windsor. There are more than a thousand acres to explore and tons of natural beauty. They're known for their cypress wetlands and extensive hiking trails, and also tons of opportunities to go camping, picnicking, and fishing. Now we're making a tea time at the Aiken Golf Club. It was formerly known as the Highland Park Country Club when it was established back in 1903. This is a beautiful course located right in downtown Aiken. It's a public course, but you can also join as a member. The cool part about that is they have a reciprocal agreement with Cedar Creek Golf Club where you can use their golf amenities as well. They also have a great restaurant, the Legends Grill, if you're just looking for a bite to eat with a little golf scene in the background. This list should pretty much have you covered. If you've done anything on this list, let me know about your experience in the comments. Or if there's something missing that's a great representation of Aiken, I would love to hear about it. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I'm Lindsay Vance, and this is Living in South Carolina.